Hello? Hello. 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 Cool. WKTT, because the battle for America begins here. WKTT 1066, we know the truth. Hmm. The number one conservative talk show in America. Right. He's America's anchorman. The conservative captain of the good ship Freedom Isn't Free, proving we can shout down any dissenting voices. It's the Richard Bastion Show. I think more and more people need to stop breastfeeding in public. Absolutely. You know, breasts are filthy. Cover them up, okay? Don't make me pull out my boot knife and give you a mastectomy. Mm. America is too concerned with birth control. We need to be making babies. We need to catch up with the Chinese. I'm with you. You know, we've got to monitor people's emails. we got to outlaw all the wrong religions, okay? Because that way we can finally be free in this country. This is a continued pacification of America. It's not okay for men to be hugging each other and crying and talking about their feelings. Well, you know what? I disagree. I, I say feel, but feel with your fists. All right? Right there, the hammers that God gave you on the end of your arms. Okay, are you with me, Bastion's buddies? And now, here's the man himself, Richard Bastion. All right, thanks for joining me, Bastion's buddies, here and on 1,400 radio stations. Welcome to the show. Now, today we're talking about family values on the program. And I'll tell you right now, I'm married to two women. My wife, my lovely, lovely wife with her beautiful hair and pretty face. The second person I'm married to, America. Now, here's my thing. <laughs> I won't go down south on either. Why? Because it does not help with populating this great country with real Americans. It's about pleasure, not procreation. And that is pointless. Okay, now, if you can't alliterate a real idea, it's too complicated, and I will not blind you with science. Now, now I know why bigamy is illegal in most states. It, it, you know, it's tough. It's tough serving two women. In my line of work, you need to be able to sing the national anthem or a, uh, a spiritual show tune with equal amounts of enthusiasm. But remember, I ain't just whistling Dixie, because nobody, nobody likes a whistler or a whistleblower. It, you know, it's like when I... Okay. 
go 90 through here, that's not...
never seen it, and I'm an accountant. How are you going to believe in something you can't see? I can't see the wind. Ain't that the truth? I ain't never seen DNA or stem cell. Or a law degree, for that matter. I'm going <laughs> to have to retire to my quarters and think about this. Judge Grady has taken Miss Allen back to his quarters to discuss his decision. Let's talk to a few people in the courtroom audience. Sir, what do you think? Who's in the right here? Are you, man? How you been, bro? Been a while? Just listen to Grand Theft Auto Radio. Talk back radio. So fucking random. How are you, brother? Yeah, same. That's good up. So I'll do some trucking. Do some tracking, I might do some driving, I don't know. See how I feel. What have you been up to, bro? Hope you had a good Easter. Happy Easter, all that shit. You've been well, man. Not too cold. Here you are. Oh, well, at Warcraft, eh? I've never played it, eh? I've been playing a bit of Lost Ark, but that's about it. A whole heap of hell let loose. And a little bit of practice. Just racing and Sea of Thieves, actually. A lot of Sea of Thieves and. Yeah. I, I need to finish um, up some missions. It's crazy the amount of time you have to put into it, though.
but it's such a, like, you can put it down and just come back to it. And there'll always be someone at your level. Yeah, I've never, never played World of Warcraft. Like, I never got into it. Yeah, I just think like subscriptions. <laughs> I, I get iRacing does it, but I just yeah don't. No, I've been playing a shitload of Hell Let Loose. Oh yeah, nice. S O M. What's SOM? See. I'm not up with it. <coughs> oh, it's been a while since you've seen me, eh? I don't know if you've seen. I started to. Uh, I got my whole arm done in blackout. Oh, this arm. Oh, there. Just in Russia at the moment, so <laughs> the cults are very short. And the director told me to roll a joy. Christopher, you must be really exciting right now. Just starting to figure out if you like girls or boys. Oh, it is. I've got a bunch of new friends. Yeah. Yeah, did oh wow, it was like five sessions. Did my elbows, like my elbows all black. Yeah, so I've got both arms done now. I tell ya, like I got all this arm done, but black. Oof. Holy shit! So it's got a bit of mouldy in it. A bit of my own. A bit of my own touch. It's pretty cool, man. Show you. Give me a sec. Retriever spent this morning getting tested for herpes, so instead we all had an incredibly exciting conversation with top comedian Ricky Gervais. Give me a, I'll give you a look. A split size to rave reviews. Hey, Ricky, I got a serious question. How come people from England never laugh? Because not <laughs> many people go around in England just yeah, where laughing because yeah. they enjoy it. Because then that they'd be mental. I mean, you see some people on the street just walking around laughing at. Yeah. They also piss in their their pants and punch pregnant women in the face. So it's. I mean. I saw a movie about England once. What was yeah, here you go. The movie? I don't know, there you go. One man wore a leather hood so that's the whole. Um. Great. Well, at least you remember where you saw it. Good. It's all fresh. Bad people. Some bad people were going to protest your show. But yeah. Um, a lot of them didn't make Pretty it. Pretty rad, eh? Stopped halfway and took their breath, and then then some turned up with um placards, but the placards looked tasty. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, oh yeah. Eaten. You mentioned in your act that while you're here, you've seen lots of commercials for the relaxed. Yeah. It's, um. Yeah, well, it's, um shows a lot of so it's all this part, all my design. Then I just let her go nuts after that. So, and the rose is for my mother, because um, her name is Rosalie. So I got that for her. And represent strength and Fano. And, uh, fuck. I started it um, in December last year. And. I've got one more sitting to go. <laughs> so I've done seven hours each time. Then, um, yeah, seven, eight hours each time, but blackout 
you swell, like, because you're just getting so much ink. Like, my elbow was like, fucking <laughs> swelled up, man. Oh. Yeah, it was just crazy. So, eight hours of time. Eight, 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 eight. Four eight hour plus sessions. Yeah, one more to go. It's just my underarm. Not looking forward to that. Should be right though. <laughs> yeah, it's um, blackout looks cool though, man. Like looks sparkling cool. Especially um. Because I was covering up a shitty tattoo. So, um, I was sort of glad to get rid of the shitty old tattoo I had there. Got any tattoos, bro? Got all my legs. Cheers, bear. Yeah. Too many. been up to bro? You been racing or you yeah, over racing? Yes, you're making him, her feel good, but still, 
in there. <laughs> How old is it? I'm your wise, bro. Cats? I've named them 
What's the difference? Next caller. First of all, I'd just like to say I love the show. You know, it's it's great. You're doing a good job for this city. Thank you. Thank you. I agree completely. Get to the point. negative
Westwood Network television show. I don't care what your definition of sodomize is. I'm going to show you mine. All packed in <laughs> with the incredible excitement of a game show. Do you love money? Do you? Do you? <laughs> yes. Well then, unbutton that blouse. This is just <laughs> or unjust. Real plaintiffs and defendants in a radio court of law. Okay, let's get on with this. Welcome to my Why is it all tipping? Williams Jones against Williams Jones. Case number 453. Let's get going. I've already read your opening Freaking statements. Thing. Judge Grady, my name is Lori Williams Jones. I've been married to my husband Chuck for two years, and all he does is play that wizard online game, Loop and Wake. He plays until two in the morning sometimes. When he comes to bed, he's all grabbing my ass and treating me like a troll, screaming, Two damage, two damage. Chuck, that ass <laughs> in the air troll. I'm about to get aggro. Can you help me, Judge? I love my husband, but I'm not an avatar. Look, you are an avatar. Let's get that straight. We all are. And the sooner people Way understand back. that, the better. The reason that your husband is in there looting and wanking and slinging his wizard junk around is because you got fat and stopped being sexy. I wouldn't even bang you. And I've done a lot of trolls in my time. Look at yourself, girl. Do something positive for yourself. Get some plastic surgery. Chuck, what have you got to say for yourself? My name is Chuck Williams Jones. I think my wife is possessed oh, by Satan. She doesn't refill the ice tray. She hates my parents. She stopped giving me head. She spends all my money and thinks she's doing me a massive fucking favor sending out Christmas cards. I mean, come on. Give me a break. They just raised postage again. What do we got here? Ain't nobody giving a shit about a Christmas card. Stones. Even the ones with a picture of your fucking dog. I don't need to see a picture of your fucking dog in a Santa hat. God damn you. Can you help my wife see what's up? Hmm, interesting. And the court notices that you have a hyphenated last name. Williams hyphen Jones. How long is that her idea? Yes, it was, Your Honor. I was born Chuck Williams. I went along with it because that's only fair, you know? I mean, I totally understand that comes from a time when women were considered property. Living in us. Who's this guy? But I don't own her. I would like to own a human being someday. I mean, like, you know, I could have me a young, nubile Filipino boy and we oh, could, could sit in my tropical song. hut and play games and decide who does what by playing hands free. Let catch the, the uh... Boyberg, just reading. Look what's happened to you. Why you gotta hyphenate? Why you gonna be half a man? I'll take she this She took one. away your manhood, she emasculated you good and proper. You got some bitch's name on half your shit. Do you pee sitting down? Um... Do you pee sitting down? Well, we're equal partners, and it's not fair that she has to take the toilet up, so I don't really mind. Equal partners? You gonna give a man a woman's last name? I'm surprised you haven't started growing tears. For the love of Deal, Judge. I have to agree. I'll never get laid again. We have an equal household, Your Honor. Equal. Equality. He wears tampons whenever I do, so the minute both experience the same burden, then I'm like, Equality? Give me back that book. Let me guess who's a work busting his ass all day. Let me guess who makes the most money. I know. It's Chuck. It's the man. You know who's made the most money throughout history? The man. Who have been the great leaders? Men. Maybe you had Cleopatra, but Egyptians live in triangles, tetrahedrons and shit. A triangle is not manly. Who fought the best wars? Men. Who make the best murderers? Men. Who invented the plague? Men. We done it all, bitch. We run this show, and I don't give a fuck who knows it. So what if he wants to come home and spend time to Finland. with his guild and pleasure elves, running around with his orky friends? Let it. Well, family and our children are the most important. Our children depend on us. We should be protecting and coddling our children, never letting them out of our sight, keeping electronic tabs on them at all times, making them paranoid and neurotic. It's our duty. Children are our future. The future? Where's your jetpack, boy? I don't have one, Your Honor. That's right, because technology <laughs> is a lie sent by liberals to kill us. Apart from weapons technology, which we use to kill other people, there is no future. And you, woman, you disgust me with your liberal ideas. You ever had a three-way? No, Your Honor, I haven't. That's revolting. No, it is not. What's disgusting is the way you get yourself a dog and the dog hits puberty and suddenly you realize the dog's undercarriage is really big. Or when you watch a nature show and see two elephants mating. Or when you vomit a bit in your mouth and have to swallow it. 
Thanks, Lord. Now, Chuck, raise your hand. Repeat after me. I love you, baby. I love you, baby. And I will always remember. And I will always remember. How good this felt. How good this felt. Now, smack that bitch. Ew! <laughs> <laughs>
Literally just following me. Right, Lamont? That's right. Get the boffin, bitches. People will do anything. 
me down again. Hey, anybody have a line? Oh yeah, Tony Prince is a loser. Fantastic. Oh, I can't wait to stop by. That's about all we have time for. We'll stay on top of the celebs, stalking them till they snap. And when they do, you'll hear about it first on Fizz. Fizz. WKTT. Because the battle for America begins here. WKTT 1066. We know the truth. WKTT 1066. Because the family is under attack and it's time to fight back. Our covert prisons being built in the desert is a secret fraternity controlling world leaders who really runs American banks and the secret scheme behind the penny in your pocket. These are some of the incredible truths revealed today on Conspire. With me, your host, John Smith. I said, oh. Which, of course, is not my real name. As we show you who and what really runs your world. I've also got an amazing report into the reality behind game shows and how they were used to fight communism. And a look into how the electric oh, car Jesus. was, in fact, invented before the internal All the way to France. Way back in 1890. Simple. It's going to be another great show if they don't take me off okay, the air. I fought big business. I've attacked media conglomerates and liberal elites. I'm the man they're too frightened to speak to. I'm John Smith, and they do not, I repeat, not know who I am. So, without further ado, without any unnecessary pomp or circumstance or long verbose intros, let's, uh, let's hit the phones. Hello, truth seeker. You're on Conspire, and you know the drill. Yeah. Hey, John, big fan of the show. I loved you since I heard you told us the fact that the library of Congress keeps a secret vault I containing read a poem. every member of Congress's penis. I mean, it's simply amazing what they spend tax dollars on. I mean, I haven't got health coverage, and yet this government is spending half a billion in upkeep of a member's member's chamber. I mean, you know I really enjoyed the last show about diet soda sweetener making children gay. They want America's birth rate to drop so it can't sustain the current population. Then a bunch of immigrants come in and take over and screw our wives. I mean, it makes perfect sense. I can't believe the lies have been told. <laughs> Thanks. What's your name? Jeremiah. Don't Jones. fall for that. I don't need to know your name, nor you mine. Tell a stranger your name, and within minutes, you're in every database in Africa. People Jesus, are trying to sell your credit to card debt and planning to steal your kidney. Pay attention. Wake up. Wake up now. I'm your only friend. This is your worst nightmare, and it's all true. Destroy your social security number and erase it from your memory. And forget okay, your name as well now. <clears throat> Regarding diet soda, abstinence kills. It kills our ideals. At one time, having a large family was celebrated in this country. Now, if you have 12 children and eight wives, oh. people look at you like you're some kind of freak. Do you know how many kids I've got? Uh, no. Exactly. You don't need to know. Don't profile Same. me. Don't talk to me about credit Slovakia. They told me about well. something that happened three years ago. Industry has 
We can't have callers explaining their beliefs quite so clearly. But remember, oh, that looks all right. to get you. And by that I mean the people who put the pyramid on your Washingtons. The great mystery of the dollar bill. I will explain all. Oh, what did I do? I'm a brainless sales associate who gets by because I've got a great rack. With Winged Software, my presentations are 99% fluff and no substance. Nothing says success in the business world like a slideshow. Nothing says, I know what I'm talking about, than the ability to break down a complex idea into three yeah. simple points per slide. Let's Order save. a copy of Wing It today. Wing It presentation software. A 720 degree revolution in business practice every day since 1997. It's a revolution. Okay, Prepare land. to be revolted. WKTT. Because I love my country, and if you don't, fuck you and your fat wife. <laughs> WKTT 1066 Talk Radio for people who are always right. Weasel News. Are you a sex offender? That's the question many police are asking residents. And they've even set up a website, LittleLazySurprisePageant.com, to catch them. It's a town on edge as people wonder if their father, best friend, or even spouse is a sex offender. The problem is you.
and the lost are engaged in a war on the streets of Liberty City. A war with many casualties, not just the bikers that kill each other, but the lives ruined by the crystal meth and crack cocaine that these thugs traffic. Whoever comes out on top in this war, it won't be Liberty City. Online dating has overtaken being set up by friends or spiking or drink as the favorite way for Liberty City's men to meet loose women. Sites such as lovemeet.net and craftless.net have helped Liberty City's many lonely hearts find soulmates. will be called integrity and will be all about integrity. Laszlo lost his radio job after the payola scandal and quite frankly because he had a potty mouth. Mike <laughs> Whiteley, Weasel News. This is Weasel News. WKTT 1066. And because now that the Cold War is over, it's time to fight with ourselves. The Martin Serious Show. This show is trash. <laughs> I want my children here in your filth. Shut up, you shrew. Get naked for me and drown your children in the bathtub right now on the phone. The most valuable man in broadcasting, the genius who takes no prisoners, is back for another episode of the Shock Jock Show that has changed everything, including moral standards and what is considered funny. It's America's favorite everyman, multi-millionaire Martin Sirius. I'm being ripped off by all my peers, the hacks in this industry. Also <laughs> starring Smithy the Sidekick. I'm smoking a cigar with my butt. Stars making out. Hot lesbian action. 
shot right out like a stewed tomato. Well, let's get back to the PCP lesbians. Stacy, you seem like an intelligent girl. Thanks, Martin. Do you know what hypocrite means? Of course. What? Um, I just really want to help the kids. That's why I do this work. It's for the kids. Yeah, what's your friend called? This is Raven. Wow, you are hot. <laughs> hot! Lisa, when we're done interviewing these brainless bimbos while our listeners masturbate behind the wheel, we need to attack some of these other radio shows that aren't as edgy as us and harass people till they commit suicide. Suicide! Sounds like a brilliant and original plan. Mr. S, I want to see how much mercury I can pour into my testicles until I lose consciousness. I'm doing it for you, Mr. S, and because I have self-esteem issues. You're on a nationally syndicated radio show with me? And you got self-esteem issues? That's ridiculous. Lisa, isn't that ridiculous? It really is, Smithy. You're a good guy. But the porn stars never want to date me. Yes, the porn stars. Why don't you two start messing around with each other again? <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh. Is that legal? I don't know about legal, but it is incredible. I should win another award. I got a toilet full of I know. It's the only room you'll let me see in your apartment. Yeah, it's your spiritual home. Lisa, what have we got coming up on the show this week? After the lesbians, we've got an incredible man who is so desperate to be on your show, he's going to wet himself and stick his penis in a wasp. sleeping with underage prostitutes in Manila. Oh, wait, that's what you did last Christmas, isn't it, Smithy? Shut up, Martin. Lisa, I'm bored. Where's that stuttering midget meth head? What would be quicker? Midgets on meth. On the Martin Serious Show. Bang, bang. Oh, my Martin. Hi, Smithy. Smoke some meth, you disaster. Oh, I could go from there. I'm just so high. <laughs> We got two lesbians shitting on each other, a man who pissed himself, a token black transvestite woman to keep the regulators and activist groups off my back. That's me! An out of control stunt boy, and a pissed off academic horse, and now a midget smoking meth. Martin, <laughs> you're a genius! This is incredible entertainment, but it's about all we've got time for. We'll see you on the next Martin Serious Show. Stacy, why don't you come and sit on my lap and tell me about 
about your daddy issues. This has been the Martin Serious Show. The show that's shocking. Shocking that anyone considers it remotely entertaining. Martin Serious Show is brought to you in association with Pisswasser. Because after pissing on midgets, a real man needs a cheap German beer. Redwood cigarettes. The number one cigarette to snub out on your genitals. Visa credit cards. Accepted in strip clubs worldwide. And the official body spray and deodorant of the Martin Serious Show, The Horn. The Horn is not a date rate drug. It just seems like one. Stop gawking at directionless heiresses and debutante disasters on the hit CMT show, I'm Rich. Coming up next week on I'm Rich. Fancy a pizza? So did rich financier John Fasket. So he bought Italy. And everyone loves children, especially famous actress and singer Samantha Muldoon. Which is why she's taken to adopting a new one every day. We'll spend a day with hedge fund mogul Kurt Simplex, who's bought every historical castle in England and burnt half of them down to raise the prices of the other half. Or maybe you want to be like Kerry McIntosh. This gorgeous model and multi-millionaireess got so bored of the airhead jibes, she purchased a brain and had it installed in her rectum. These are all <laughs> true stories, and we'll have thousands more like them next time on I'm Rich. That's I'm only on CNT. Ever wonder why you look a lot like your neighbor? Yes. Do you have strange feelings towards your mother or sister? Yeah. Do you feel disconnected from your father? <laughs> Don't want a therapist to explain what you already know. You're probably either adopted or the result of a fling at a 19th Germany. Nepotism, money, and covert connections to power. Blink, and you miss them.
it says here you uh, recommend maintaining what, weapons caches? Oh, yes. Oh, absolutely. I have weapons caches hidden throughout the city. Uh, if there's a terrorist attack, I need to be able to get a flamethrower quick. Uh, it's important all our children have this knowledge, too. After all, when the Russians invaded, who saved us, huh? Resourceful and good-looking school kids. That's who. Yeah, life is like a movie. Don't be an extra. Uh, that's a great message. Let's go to the you. phones now. Chester and Alderney, you're on. This bitch is crazy. I took her urban escape and evasion course so I can know how to get out of a hostage situation. I paid 600 bucks, too. You know what she told me to do to escape and bargain for my freedom? Find out who the ringleader is and perform oral sex on him. It worked for me in the Philippines. Now, look, John, I have traveled the world, except for Australia. That place is fucked. <laughs> Sayings. There's Butch, 
think here comes ready to fight terrorism, attack illegal immigration, and protect your freedom with a gun in one hand and a six-pack in the other. And all new, it's the Republican Space Ranger Shower Scene Playset. Hey, baby, oh, bro. DNA dumpster. All right, the Republican Space Rangers only on Weasel, and collect all the action figures only at Burger Shot. Burger Shot, die with a smile on your face. Weasel, entertainment and freedom together again. Because you can't see a doctor. Don't blame profits or Nixon because you've got 
got bad coverage. Bottom line, don't blame me because you're a loser. Not my fault, buddy. And the last thing we need on Earth is socialized medicine. Sheesh. Can you imagine the chaos if everyone was able to see a doctor and didn't have to fill out reams of paperwork before they were denied a life-saving surgery because it costs money? It would be anarchy. There'd be lines for bread and we'd all be speaking Russian or Cuban and people would die. People are already dying because of paperwork and lack of coverage and their failure to understand the small print. <laughs> okay, Lennon, I understand. You want to live in a socialist utopia. Fair enough. Well, I don't. I want choices. I want access. I want buzzwords. I want dreams. I want the chance to look you in the eye and say, I've got it. You haven't. I bet you wish you paid more attention in school, you little shit. Then knee you in the nuts. That dream? That dream is America. And I tell you what, man, that's a dream hard-working people all over this country want. To see their lazy neighbors die because they didn't go to work and get a job and have health care. Time to remove the teeth and say, dinner's over, baby. Go buy your own pair of tits. Why, why, why? Why is everyone 
much this year off a person who can't uh, breathe right. Uh, oh, I want to make that much off this doctor who, 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 who is ignoring the world. Okay, thank you, man. Playing golf. You are giving me a headache. Good, I can cure that. Come here. What are you doing? Come here, come here, come here. I'm getting the oh, hey, no, no, no. no, this won't hurt a bit. My dad showed me. Come here, come here. Ow. Okay, come on, Mr. Man. Oh, this drill fits clean, Let's damn it. Let's down the drill. Let's think about Yeah. 
sort of knew this. No, wait. The spirit world is fading. I'm going to hazard a guess. Your great, great grandmother is dead. Yes? How did you know? I am just a mouthpiece, dearie. The spirits speak through me. She is telling me something. Something about diamonds and true love. No, it's going faint. What? No! Have you got another credit card? The, the spirit world is telling me her first card bounced. No, please, just tell me about true love and the guy with the diamonds. Is it Tony McTony? I'd love to, dearie, but spirit dollars are devalued these days due to the war on terror. Besides, immortal worlds need to earn some paper. Okay, it's Lisa, 4135. Tell 
dealing with something. Wait, wait, wait. He's he's telling me you're you're the chosen one. Oh, wow. Yes, and he's telling me you've got a great quest. Only he doesn't know what it is yet. He's telling me you should call my premium rate number every day until we can find out what it is. He's telling me it's very important you do this every day. Will you do that, Michael? Well... Michael, it's very important. He's telling me the future of the world depends on it. Wow, this is incredible. I'm just the vehicle, the cosmic bus. Like the buses on the dirty roads of Bulgaria, where you can lay in the road and brain tourists. It's your life, Michael. Live it. If you take one thing away, take that. It's important. Wait, the spirit gate is closed. Please call the line. Don't let your future happen without knowing about it first. Or it may just become your past. Think about that. This is the seance. Wow, it feels like Sunday morning all the time on Public Liberty Radio. Public radio that sips overpriced coffee and cries for the world. All the way to the left side of your radio. Shouting! I'm seeing it very vividly as if it were happening. 
happening right in front of me. He's screaming. You're screaming. I hate you. I hate you. It's in Polish, but the spirit world has translated it for me. Have you ever hated someone? Yeah. I knew this like the hand of my back. You have loved someone you hated. You have conflicting feelings. Oh no. You are holding the man in a headlock. You are enraged. Fuck it, eh? Am I gonna kill him? You are about to smash his head on the bar. Awesome! What next? to eat up time. Listen, you will break up with her tonight. Tell her about the fat man and the tavern and the passion and his enormous hog 500 years ago. Tell her all of this is true. And if she no believe, tell her to call Beatrix Fontaine. Your time is up. The cosmic wind has blown you back to... into the moat where you swim in sewage of the time stream. Russia? Yes. The mouth is a graveyard for many animals, and their spirits sometimes want hurt. to talk. But if you want Slovakia, to talk, so... you need a credit card to talk. Hello, Darlene. Wow! You know my name! Of course, dearie. I have a connection. Yeah. I, I dial up, authenticate with the, the spirit world, and spirit right. dollars go into the account. Then they go to an offshore spirit world where it's always warm. Wait, Thank you very much for I watching. am seeing two eyes. You have, have a, a good day. Teddy bear or and a I will see you tonight, maybe. Or something when you were younger. It meant a lot to you, yes?